Well, everyone, I think most of us know by now that a majority of older iPhones haven't really been looked over for the most part. You know, when I'm talking about, you know, the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, they did get iOS 12 support for quite a bit of time. But as of right now, we're very, very close to a lot of applications being unsupported, meaning apps like, you know, WhatsApp and other apps like that have now gone up to iOS 11 being the oldest version of software that you can run these applications on. And we're only about a year or two away from apps like WhatsApp and these other big applications and maybe even Instagram of not getting any more software updates on these specific phones. Now in the future with apps like the iPhone, with phones like the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus and iPhone SE, if these do get unsupported with iOS 15, which is very high, I really do think there's going to be a position where a lot of these applications that we are going to be getting through the App Store may actually end up giving us third party support through the web browser to actually go ahead and utilize full on applications via these other companies' servers. So what does this mean? Well, let's take a look like well, let's take a look at example of Fortnite. As most of us know, Fortnite has been unsupported for the most part on a lot of other devices, not just iPhones. But with the help of Microsoft and Xbox's Game Pass gameplay option online, we actually have the ability of playing Fortnite on our phones without having to download anything, without having to even download the application. All we have to do is add this specific, you know, application as a bookmark to our specific iPhone home screen, and we are able to utilize these applications. Now, this is massive because apps and phones like the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6, they do support add to home screen functionality, and so do the iPhone 6S and so on and so forth. So in the future, if there are, you know ever is a situation, apps and developers start actually creating these web applications instead of actual app store applications, where we just add to home screen and we go ahead and just you know post them online, well, we can go ahead and have a plethora of different applications where we are not stipulated at Apple's app store request or updating the applications or whatever, you can just go onto the Safari web browser, add a specific application to your home screen, and that is it. That's all you have to do. So the reason why this is so important right now is because we just had that groundbreaking Fortnite ability of giving of getting Fortnite on our iPhones. It may seem like a small little thing, but I do think this opens the doors for so many other developers in the future to actually go ahead and pretty much give us this ability. I think this is massive. I think this is really, really cool. And I cannot wait for the future of these iPhones. So basically, all of the older iPhones that may have had some issues here and there is actually kind of fixed now for the most part. And we shouldn't be stipulated at Apple's, you know, oh, you have to update your iPhone or you have to be on this version of software to, you know, do X, Y, and Z. We shouldn't really be in that situation anymore, which is so awesome. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.